So I finally got around to getting rid of this controller off my CNC. It did the job okay, I suppose, but um, it's just not exactly the desired controller, I suppose, for this application. I had one of these lying around that I used on my mill project, uh, but it became faulty after a while. I'd say it got full of coolant or something like that. As you can see, I've removed a button there that was broken. I don't really need it for this application. So the Xbox controller is gone. This old Logitrol pendant is now being used. Now a lot of people out there do use the Xbox 360 controller with their CNCs and, and they work quite well, I suppose. But the fact is, is that they just look too much like a gamepad. So I've got customers walking in and out and they say to me, do you play games on your machine? <laughs> Which I've got to try and explain, no. So I thought I might as well get rid of that fella and put that fella on. So you ask, how do I get the functions of these buttons? into UC CNC. Well, as you can see here, we've got key codes. Just pick one, set. Comes up with this box here. Press a keyboard key. Well, I'm not gonna be pressing a keyboard key. I'm gonna be pressing, let's say this one. And watch. Comes up with the 109, which is the keyboard corresponding number to that. Press OK, it enters in, and I say, well, what, what do I want that to do? I'll go set, and then I find what I want here. It might be, oh, I've got it set up as home all. Click OK, and that's what it will do. If I push that button there, the machine will home. So just continue that process for every button on the pendant, entering it into the UCCNC hotkey information. So let's see how it goes. I'm press the button here to home it. And the machine homes. Too easy. There's one function on the 2017 screen set for UCCNC that really, really annoyed me. And that was the fact that if you wanted to change the jog speed, you had to come over here and up and down it like that. That's a pain in the ass. So now, I want to see what my jog percentage is on the main screen. I added it in here, just under where my feed rate is there, feed rate override. So now, push it up and down. See it goes up and down. All work from the pendant. And I've got a visual of it on the main screen. A couple other functions on this pendant feed rate override here and see it moving I see it move with the joystick There you have it. That's the uh, the Logitrol pendant, all set up and running with UCC and C. Uh, it works a charm. No faults, no issues, no glitches. It's certainly a step up from the old Xbox control that I was using, uh, which 
kind of made it feel very amateurish at the best. And I also got sick of people asking me whether I played games on the machine or not. But anyway, there you have it guys. A simple upgrade or retrofit of a obsolete pendant that I had lying around to the UCCNC control software.